Hi guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to run uh, Airflow in uh, Git GitHub uh, code space. Uh, basically, this is an easy way to run your run uh, Airflow directly on uh, uh, in a computer. Uh, there are a couple of ways where you can run Airflow. One is using the Docker container, or you are a normal uh, using Kubernetes and uh, otherwise you can run in your local computer but uh, I normally prefer to run like if I want to test something on uh, github code space because uh, it's away from my computer um, and um, I need to make sure that my computer is clean and if I want to delete some things like that uh, so because of that I normally run my uh, airflow either code space or uh, in a cloud environment uh, in this particular video I'll show you how you can run uh, airflow in uh, code space uh, basically uh, uh, code space is uh, available through uh, uh, if you don't know about anything uh, this is something that provided by github uh, microsoft uh, basically uh, where you can uh, open your direct any of your direct uh, uh, repository uh, separately uh, in a computer environment and start working on that for example uh, to uh, show you guys uh, if I want to open this one, if I go to my, uh, and you can go here, and then uh, there's something called code space. Uh, if you are paying, uh, if you click create on, uh, it will create a new one for you. Um, uh, if you are paying four dollars a month and have your uh, pro subscription, you get about one hundred and eighty hours of computing uh, time. Uh, and uh, if you're a pre user, you get about sixty hours of uh, uh, computing time so um, uh, let's start uh, directly creating uh, uh, our code base uh, base uh, airflow let me go to the airflow website first and uh, let me make it bigger for you guys so this is the quick start uh, procedure that I'm going to use uh, so nothing new guys so everything from here so and in order to open a uh, create a uh, repository I am going to use one of this repository so I'm going to go here uh, you can import from here open here like that or what you can do is like me uh, I have my setup in uh, uh, Visual Studio so this is actually uh, the best way to like have uh, connections with your this uh, uh, VS code and the uh, your github uh, or a gitlab environment so basically make sure you add your extension from here first of all if you haven't set it up already and then log into that github account then after that you from uh, if you go to this uh, icon you will from there you can select the uh, github uh, code space from that uh, you can add a new one uh, basically from typing the name of uh, the environment and then it will add on and ask to where uh, which branch you want to start your computer from here you can select the uh, um, power of the machine uh, 2 core 3 core so I'm gonna like like 4 core and uh, 16 GB RAM because airflow involve um, running databases uh, and couple of web servers uh, schedule and things like that so I'm gonna select 4 and it will take a bit of a couple of mm, only like a, a 30 second to uh, set it up our environment so let me set it up meantime it getting setting up I'm gonna make this one is a bit bigger so that you can please clearly So now everything set it up. So let me uh, let me look at the folder structure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the folder that I already created because uh, I'm going to recreate it. This this one. Uh, let me create delete that. So nothing is there. Okay. Now let me check. Is there nothing? Okay. So now let's go to the instruction. So in here in the instruction it says. Uh, um set up airflow home so this is one something important you want to make sure you want to upload your deck so you want to make sure that there's a folder create for that rather than the going uh, random location your uh github uh 
code space so what you can do is go to github and then uh, just check where uh, if if you want to look uh, location you can type pw d uh, then you will get the location address like this so i'm going to create uh, um, kdr and then i'm going to say air flow and create a folder like this and there will be a folder and then uh, i'm going to uh, set up my folder path uh, like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create uh, copy this whole export part and then uh, uh, I'm gonna set my path copy and paste and then air flow my folder new one I created and like this so then the uh, where my DAGs and everything going to be air for conflict file and everything going to be in that uh, particular air for folder so I'm gonna enter that and then I'm going to follow the basic instruction here. So uh, I'm going to click copy this one and then paste it. That's uh, the version that I need there flow. And from here, they look for the versions of the Python. So by default, you get 3.10. Uh, now you can check by echo dollar sign and then type python uh, python version the variable you type 3.10 and then uh, and also you can set it up that constraint part if you want uh, this is basically what it does it uh, install uh, several uh, 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 packages so basically if you look at it uh, uh, things that you need uh, with the airflow um, installations basically providing the versions of the airflow may make sure that there's a compatibility between uh, other libraries and things like that it will make care of that uh, all the google libraries and things like that will be get installed here so what i can do is i'm going to run this command as well it's get the version and the um, everything from here if you want you can actually run everything at once but I'm here in order to demonstrate to you guys I'm running one command at a time uh, so I'm gonna run this command and then the last one I need to run is this uh, the final effect pip install so you can install uh, set up your uh, airflow using pip installer so basically you click here and then run it it will take uh, only a minute, uh, less than a 30 seconds guide to installation to complete. That's something very, uh, like a very quickly done. Um, and another thing is that uh, you can restart uh, any any time that you need. Uh, when you start the code space, automatically you will get this uh, airflow, set it up again. So that's something is really uh, convenient for you if you wanted to run something outside your uh, computer uh, without any docker container things like that um, when you set it up with the docker containers you need to like maintain and things like that uh, sometimes can be um, uh, take your uh, sometime uh, will take your time and this way is very easy and uh, since you are getting like free computer time from uh, github uh, it's uh, won't be cost you anything as well you a couple of second guys to this to complete uh, it's already completed so now you just have to go here the next command is this uh, uh, standalone uh, okay um, let's just copy paste and then the yeah, apple will get started So every time like you want to do some checkup, do a local work on Airflow, this is the easiest way to run Airflow. Don't open this one, this is just given to the access to the uh, database. You just close this one, uh, wait for the uh, port 8, uh, 8081, uh, which is uh, where the Airflow is. If you click this one, uh, it will open in a browser. And you need a uh, password then uh, username so pass uh, username is admin let me show you from where you can find those uh, uh, if you go to your uh, 
a code uh, environment you can see that there's a admin username and then the password this will change every time you need to copy paste uh, from there and then edit like this and then click login so that it will take a bit of a time to like get it uh, update all the decks here uh, um, but uh, it, as you know or every time if you want to run a upload it's uh, taking a bit of a time if you're running from Google Cloud Compose it's take about 10 minutes to start everything so uh, here it won't take 10 minutes you to set it up uh, after first set it up uh, always you can um, open uh, back again so basically if you want to stop it you can stop it and uh, uh, close down the uh, github code space and start back again just running by uh, you don't need to do all this uh, uh, all this command you just have to run on this only this command so I'll show you guys that uh, let me demonstrate that before that l let me show you where I, you are uh, DAGs and everything can upload so let me show you this and then if I go to folder called AR flow uh, if I go here there should be all the file including config file uh, if I go here and open uh, our complete file it will show where your DAGs are so you need to create a folder called DAGs in AR flow so what I'm gonna do is that's uh, mkdir dax give the same name there if i create a folder now there will be a dac folder so if you up, if you wanted to upload your dac you can upload it to here so let me show you an, an example um so let me open a simple branching uh, dax that i have created um, so this is the dac that i'm going to run uh, upload now So this is the deck. So let me just uh, creating a branches one. So let me close this one, and then I'm gonna drag the deck directly from my folder to this location. So it will add. That's simple, guys. So you need to add a deck. You just drag it from there, and if you close this one, then if I go to decks and then ls it will take a bit of time now let's check whether the that stack will be available on our uh, airflow environment guys so this might will take a bit of a time uh, normally close to both minute that's just normal uh, in the normal airflow also it's depend on the time that you set it in conflict file uh, so you might have to wait for a couple of uh, uh, close to a, a close to a minute to that deck to be appear here uh, I'm gonna passport the video guys here okay guys our deck now it's appear you can see this a 52 if you if I type uh, branches example that's the one that I call it is appearing here so I can uh, uh, go to see the code uh, and this is the one so if I want to run it I just gonna say this and then let's click run So let's start running there should be one active duck deck start running it's a simple deck guys uh, just uh, showing that how the branch is uh, working this deck run is completed uh, let's go for the to see uh, how is running process happen uh, there's a ch chart graph and the detail of running run successful and then if you look at uh, task durations and things like that I'm not going to go on uh, detail guys here and here like it says uh, do not run on the production environment uh, I think that's uh, anyway um, uh, intended not to run on these kind of a things on production environment if you are running airflow in production environment the uh, best option would be like uh, run through the kubernetes or uh, use a cloud service provider uh, okay so guys now i'm going to show you how you can stop this one and uh, start back again so what i'm going to do is this uh, 
um, come here now you can see that there's a new file also created and then if you go to here for the new deck there will be a like a task check data that's log logging file as well available there so if you wanted to stop it go here and then you can stop it and then i'm gonna disconnect it uh, stop here uh, i'm gonna stop from here still gonna stop the airflow engine so now if i refresh it's gonna get an error message so next uh, important thing like let's say next day you want to start your airflow back again so wait till everything done you click on this one it will start connecting the airflow back again uh, the uh, open the code space back again uh, Uh, it will take a couple of seconds uh, to open that computer so now it is open now if, if i check all the files tags and everything is there uh, now what i do have to do only one thing uh, you just have to go here this uh, air force standalone command only the one that you needed now you just have to type this on enter then your air flows back again online and one thing that the new password there will be a new password because the environment newly created and uh, even though your DAG is here you might have to re-update it again because uh, as you know the database and everything is recreated again uh, so let me sh i'll wait till it's get created so that i can open and show it to you guys okay guys now we upload back again online uh, we just have to take the new password so the new password would be this and then enter the password and then I'm username always is admin and then login yeah you have your new air flow so uh it will show the all the decks here uh, it will take a bit of a time because it's getting updated database get uh, getting updated like that uh, that's all guys here just this is how you can run airflow in uh, github code space uh, thank you for watching this video uh, please do subscribe and leave comments or anything that uh, you want me to cover uh, uh, thanks for watching